Please. Oh, Miss Conroy, uh, I don't think that any of us uh, know what we should do. Well, I can tell you what I think, Ruth, but it's your decision. Uh, okay, let's just face the facts here. Now, this is not an admission of guilt. It's a settlement. If, if you accept that the CIA gives you some money and you go home, and that's exactly what happens if you win in court. You get some money. Now, don't forget, this is a civil case. Nobody goes to jail. I mean, the CIA never apologizes. And while the harm you have all suffered doesn't go away. But, but either way, all you get from the law is money. I just want you all to understand that. But there's a but here. This isn't about the money. We all know that. And the CIA knows that, right? I mean, they didn't spend all these years fighting us because they wanted to save money. It would have been much cheaper to settle right away, but they wouldn't. Because the minute they give you three quarters of a million dollars, well, then the world knows the CIA is guilty of sin. That's how this story will be told. And it will be told. Mr. Krantz? Your Honor, we have reached an agreement. Miss Conroy? We have, Your Honor. Well, the court is pleased. <laughs> court adjourned. Ms. Conroy, the CIA claims that they offered you a settlement just to get this thing over with, and they also maintain that they did nothing wrong. Look, nobody pays out three quarters of a million dollars unless they've done something wrong. The CIA tried everything they could to avoid going to trial, and when they realized they couldn't, well, they settled. Because we made them. They couldn't beat us. We won. You write that down, mister. <laughs> Let's go home, everybody. Tell us it's coming to us. And it's American coming to us. Yeah.